PDF Petuta. So we, the question says, the diagram below shows how the molecules are arranged in three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. Set the name given to the change of state labeled A and B. So this is, if this is liquid, then this is gas. So we are saying the change from, uh, from liquid actually to gas, that's what we call evaporation. Then B, B is from liquid to solid, which we call solidification. Or you can say freezing. Or cooling. Other people, they call it cooling. B says, describe the movement of particles, uh, or sorry, of molecules in a gas. How do, how do molecules move in a gas? So they move. randomly we can say freely with large spaces or distances between them which of the changes a b or c is endothermic now, when we say endothermic, we mean which of the processes A, B, or C absorbs the heat of energy. So, when we talk of melting, melting, uh, no, A, B, C. A, we said is evaporation. So, to evaporate, you need energy to break the bonds that are in liquid to form a gas. So, A is endothermic. But when we look at C, C is from gas to liquid which is condensation you do not uh, you do not need heat for that actually you need to lose heat so that the particles can come closer then liquid to solid you also need to lose heat because the particles must come closer so only a is endothermic question 2 says the table below shows some apparatus used in the laboratory separating funnel and everything there state the apparatus used for the following burning and uh, heating so for burning and heating we are saying it's a basin burner basin burner preparation of a standard molar solution you can use uh, a volumetric flask so volumetric flask obtaining a district from a vapor of a liquid so you look here you have got a discanter basin burner burette so we've used this. So to obtain a liquid from a district, actually, you use a Leibig li li condenser. Condenser. Then drying substances or keeping them from moisture, use what you call a discanter. A discanter. Then measuring exactly 25.0 cubic centimeter of a solution, you use a a bulb pipette so use a pipette for that given gi given below is a list of substances aluminium bronze nitrogen water cement methanol potassium chloride and sea water which substance is an element so you look at here an element so an element there can be aluminium aluminium or nitrogen which substance is a single compound so a single compound that means it's it is the same compound made of the same compound which is nitrogen you know that nitrogen has got this that means there is this double bonds a solid triple bonds or the same element which substance is a mixture so now a mixture is a combination of two or more substances that are not chemically combined so we can uh, say uh, cement cement is a mixture which substance is an element that conducts electricity an element that conducts electricity which one is it as an element so it's aluminium aluminium conducts electricity from the above list select an ionic compound one ionic compound we have uh, Potassium chloride. Potassium chloride is an ionic compound because it's made of a metal and a non-metal. 
An alloy is a combination of two or more metals, and bronze is an alloy. So thanks so much for watching. I'm previously told to see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.